guys, um, my name is Brielle, and this is my service dog, Arlo, um, and today I wanted to show you guys um, what I keep in our adventure backpacks. And on and on we'll go. backpack is used for when we are going somewhere um, that I think uh, might need like you know extra preparing you know if we're going on like a really long walk or um, going to do like a training session um, I usually bring something like I mean this or something similar I have something similar at work so this should show you guys kind of what we keep um, just so that uh, people can you know think of things to put in their adventure backpack or different types of toys to try for your dog to exercise them. So, um, first of all, I am going to let you guys know that uh, I will be re-going over all the toys that are in here. Um, there's a lot of toys in here. <laughs> I talked about them in my All of Arlo's Toys video. Um, I don't know if that video is coming out before or after this, who knows. But um, those are still in here, so I'm still going to be talking about them. Also, I apologize for the noise. Arlo is going through a peanut butter song right now. Um, so I wanted to uh, re-go through those so that if people are wondering, like, you know, uh, what should they keep in a backpack like this that they're gonna take like on, you know, a long walk, what type of toys can they use to exercise their dog, stuff like that. So this is the backpack I take whenever we go out to exercise, which we try to do once a day. It's been kind of faltering because of like finals this week. But um, try and do that one today with this guy. So this is our collapsible water bowl. It can hold about a cup and a third at a time. Basically about a cup um, with room for, you know, life. Um, it just clips onto the side. It is dishwasher safe. Um, we wash it every time we use it. So I keep this in here so that um, we can get water because it's really important to keep your dog hydrated when you're exercising. Even if it's cold out, they still need that water. So make sure that they're still getting that. So in this back pocket, we have two different Frisbees. Um, this one is a little more heavy weight. Um, I can kind of throw this around and really, you know, get into it and into tug and stuff with Arlo. Um, and it won't break. Um, this one's a little bit more lightweight, but the thing about this one is that it lights up. So if it's nighttime and I still want to go out and play frisbee because I'm an insomniac, um, I can use this. So yeah. So I keep those two kinds of frisbees in there. Obviously a tennis ball. If you don't have a tennis ball, then do you even have a dog? Um, just kidding. <laughs> Dog safe bubbles are always a really good option. I know some dogs are actually afraid of them, so be really careful. Um, make sure that you test them out before you get like a giant one like this. But these are dog safe, so they are peanut butter and bacon flavored, which means that when Arlo eats them, he's not gonna like get hurt. Um, it's not like us eating soap, it's like us eating edible bubbles. Uh, so um, if he eats too many of them, obviously he'll still get like diarrhea. But um, you can see we've used quite a lot of it and he hasn't like gotten sick or anything. So um, these are safe for dogs to like chase and pounce and um, eat. So yeah, he loves bubbles. <laughs> in here we also have a piece of a toy that I am testing um, that will be in another video. Um, it's a toy that hangs like down from a tree, but um, or like this can be put on a flirt pole. But for right now we're just using it like this. Um, it's really nice to throw. Uh, because it, you know, flips back and forth like that and it goes pretty far and Arlo can pick it up from the middle, he can pick it up from the ball part, he can pick it up from the handle, perfect. For Tug, it's great, he can grab onto one end, I can grab onto the other, perfect. Um, he likes to play with Toby with it. Um, we also have our expandable flirt poles, these things are really great. They're pretty cheap on Amazon, I think I got mine for 15 bucks. Um, and it comes with two of these toys, so just in case your dog is kind of destructive and goes through one of these pretty fast, you can get another one that comes with it. Um, so that's pretty nice. We use the purple one first. Um, it's got a really nice padded handle and, you know, a, a wrist strap. Just in case, you know, you're like me and sometimes and 
just throw shit for some reason. Um, and it's expandable, so if you want to use it inside, you can actually, I mean, I would be really careful with it, but you can still collapse it down and still, like, play with it inside. Like, I, this is really helpful for, like, days when I'm not feeling good and I just want to lay in bed, like, but I still want to exercise my dog. Um, he loves to chase this, Toby loves to chase this, so this is really fun. And the actual string part of it is really stretchy, so even if your dog pulls on it, they're not going to break anything. I try and lock all the pieces so that, you know, just like the lowest possibility of it like shrinking back. In this second pocket, all we have is a water bottle. This water bottle I clean once a week. Um, I put fresh water in it even if we are not, um, even if we have not gone out that week just to make sure that everything's like sanitary. Um, it is just water basically, but I just, it's really important to keep your dog hydrated. Arlo, when he's really exercising, will go through a whole one of these in minutes. So, um, whenever I have another dog come with us, I bring as many water bottles as I need to, one per dog. And if they're smaller, okay, maybe, you know, that much less, not that much less. Um, just to be sure, I would rather have my dog have more water than we need than less. So, um, I try to be really careful with that sort of stuff. And when it's too hot out, I do not put ice in the water. And the reason that I do that is because if it's really hot out and your dog is really exercising and it's really hot, uh, you actually don't want to put ice in their water because it can put them into shock um, from the temperature change. So I just give them regular faucet water. So in this last pack, we have some of our favorite items. This is our X-Dog vest. I love our X-Dog vest. Um, some of, some people have been telling me that um, Arlo is not the right kind of dog for an X-Dog vest and whatever. I don't know what that means. Um, I'm a professional trainer and I know that any dog can do training. Any dog can be trained. Um, and any dog can do, I mean, provided they're like healthy, obviously, any dog can wear a weighted vest. It just has to be specified for what they need. So, um, this vest is actually two pounds less than what Arlo could carry, um, but I'm not looking at making him, like, super buff or anything. I just want to keep a good amount of muscle on him, um, and not hurt his joints. But yeah, that's what this is for. Um, if you plan on getting an X-Dog vest, these are weighted vests, so, um, they have these little Velcro pockets in the side that, um, you can put weight into. Um, if you plan on doing something like that, I would really... Um, contact your vet before you plan on, you know, adding any weight to it, and also contact your vet before you do any sort of sports like weight pull or anything like that. Um, it has a really strong D-ring on the back that I usually put a traffic lead in that I know isn't going to stretch longer than this so that he won't trip on it, but that also if I really need to grab him so that he stops, because usually when we exercise he's off leash, um, I will put it on the back here so that it's safer than if I were to put it on his flat buckle collar. Um, because his flat buckle collar, if it's on there, it could be too long and he could trip on it, etc, etc. Or another dog could grab it, stuff like that. There's also two D-rings on the back for weight pull. Arlo does not do weight pull, I'm not interested in having him do that. I am not someone who is well versed in training that, so I do not plan on it. And if I ever did, I would get a professional to help us first. We also have our um, mess leash in here. So this is our mess leash. Um, I just got it at the Dane County Humane Society thrift store, um, which they're really great. Um, if you ever need uh, like used dog gear, you're just looking to get like a messy leash or like maybe even toys, stuff like that. I got Arlo's life jacket there. It's really great. Um, they have a ton of gear. Uh, all the profits go to the Humane Society. So see if you have a one of these thrift stores in your area, they can do really great. Um, I try and get as much gear from there as possible because I know it helps out the rescued animals. So, um, we got this there. Uh, it's pretty messy, but it's a really tough leash. You can drag this through anything and it'll still be fine. Really heavy clip, so big handle, you know, good for a mess leash. We also have this in there. Um, I don't usually keep this in here. I think the reason I had this in here is because the last time we went out, I wanted to have a wheelchair leash. 
Um, this is a wheelchair leash. Uh, sometimes I use it as a traffic lead, but this is definitely too long for me to be exercising again. But usually I'll have like a real traffic lead in here. I don't know, if maybe I was washing the other one. Last but not least, I have Arlo's winter boots in here. Um, Arlo's winter boots are an off-brand Mutlux. Um, we use Mutlux for everything, but these are his winter boots. Um, they're kind of muddy, as you can already tell. Um, but they've got a rubber sole. You know, they're great. Um, and, you know, they're just like Mutlux. They've got the, uh, basically the, the stuff on the top that is like elastic and like, you know, goes on against his leg. And then a Velcro and then the rest of the foot. So um, I think that's perfect for dogs with dew claws. Arlo doesn't have dew claws, but I know a lot of friends who have dogs with dew claws that love this style of boot. Um, it's a lot better than a lot of the other things I've seen. So we have these in here just in case we're going into an area and it's really muddy or I forget his boots, his regular boots, or it's freezing or it starts snowing when we're exercising ton of different reasons. I want to keep Arlo's paw pads safe and I want to keep um, stores safe as well so I don't want him tracking a ton of mud and a ton of water in there on his feet. So yeah. That is everything that we keep in our um, adventure backpack. Um, leave a comment. What do you keep in your uh, training backpack or in your exercise backpack? Um, I'd love to see what you guys keep in there. Maybe it'll give me some ideas for what to put in mine. Um, if you guys have any questions, I'd love to answer them. I, I love educating people, and if you, um, if you found any of this helpful, let me know. Um, that's what the goal is. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you guys in whatever we make next. Bye!